This is Die Sporting Network. What work? We're picking this one up in progress as Frederick up 20 now in this one. We'll start with four. 56 36. And the third quarter, Whitman tried to come back. They got it within 15 a couple times. Frederick was able to get it to 19. Now they got it to 20. Here to start with four. We'll bring the fourth in its entirety to you since we didn't bring another the third. That's a foul out. And shooting two here on the line. Tisha DeRosa, that's his second team second. For Frederick, number three, Dave Dorsey at the line, shooting two. Two shots. Yeah. 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 For the cadets. Second shot here for Dorsey. Six final for Frederick and sight. Here for Whitman here. Great season trying to Out the ball back the other way here, the lead to 22. Six forty-three remaining in regulation time here. Back. D3! No good. We're now back the other way. And that with it. Oh! There was Brown. Oh. Nice 16, time on. Cut to the basket, the first one in there. Nice with Rosso. Rosso with it. Rosso and Farrell has been kind of the two main persons here for the Vikings. And this one. 555 left here in the contest. Oh, first of all. Yep. coming. From here. Perfect foul number 24, J.J. Addison. That is his third team second. Checking out the game for Whitman. Is number 10, Will Shapiro. Shapiro in the game. Check that game. Pressure is number 23, Keyboard Q. Dig three here. Shooting two. Look at the Addison from deep. He nailed that one, 61-38. It's all Frederick now. Runs it. Drive with Russell, cuts the D. Now with it, it's 
Scott Nomura to Junior. The time is the enemy. Walt Whitman sees it. Comes to in there as the boy won her up. Back. Little dribble drive, that's a foul. Against Hill. So 59% from the field. 59% from three as well for Frederick. Regina leads. All scores at 17 at the moment. For Frederick. Dorsey. That's 12. His 12 is a huge 12. Man! Madison now with nine. And the lead up to 23. Three ball on it. Rosa now with 18. He leads all scores now. 4-10 remaining in this one. Brings it back. Swings it. That's a three. Short for Dorsey. The rebound back the other way. Time out by Frederick. 341 left. Trying to get it for the first time in 42 years. Look at that. Right here, the game action. Side of Dorsey and he'll be shooting a pair here. Wooden foul on the third is Sean Carter. That is his second team fit. For the Canucks, number three, David Dorsey at the line, shooting two. Shot to go up 22 and do. Dorsey now with 14 in the game. Team Ward, Ward Ball, and Kanata, they both have 17. Leading puncher. Lay up in there. Sean Curran. Curran with his first points of the game. Dorsey, he swing it. Back. Little dribble drive. Pull up. Short. Kick. And the ball stays with Whitman on the other end. 2.44 remaining. Here in this one. Looking to drive, oh, fucking fire. Time. 
What a year of high school basketball in the area. We've seen some great games. You on it? As we switch to AAU All-Star Showcases here. What a great season it's been here on the National Network. Network. Swings it. Low. We'll put it up. Violation. Really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things now. We're at this point in the game. Inside. Shooting two. Shooting two. Perfect foul, number 10, Monty Hill, Jr. That is his fourth team kill. For Whitman, number five, Tishin DeRosa at the line, shooting two. Two shots here. You know that? Checking again for Whitman. Number four, Griffin Taylor. For number two, Thomas Carroll. Game, but what a send off. It's the second to Rosa. The lead to 18, but Frederick looking to win their first state title in 42 years. And they're six overall. Inside. Good night, Irene, for the season. Jumper! No good. Well, Matt. That was already a great thing to have to get SSA. That was coming up. That was tremendous. Tremendous season. Last call for Secretary of the Winning. From there, boy, you've seen the maturity from this team throughout the season. For the Gets, number 10, Monty Hill, junior from the shooting team. First shot. No good. Check out the for Whitney. Number 12. Comes out. Now the second unit comes in. One minute left, just about in the contest. T3! Seven shots and made 27 of them. 
Offensive rebound, back up. Will Pauling gets there for the Look at that number 12, the whole EO. Cutting to the lead here, 71-49. That's a three. No! Frederick could not miss now. Bang. Bat it. Out of bounds, back to Whitman. 6.8 seconds remaining. going to do it. Whitman to shoot a three. No good. Patrick has a basket for him. That's 42 years. And a season where Frederick was hoping a year ago to get to the 3A final. They win the biggest classification final in 4A and send the title back up to Western Maryland in front of What a game and season we will be at the Frederick Presser. And that's coming back at you here in a little bit. As Frederick wins this one. Frederick will end their season record at 24 and 4 in a year. Well, Whitman will end their season record at 21 and 6. And we'll be back with the Presser from the press room with Frederick coming back at you. Do you guys mind passing the mic around to whoever's like maybe point the mics to whoever's talking? Coach, you might as well get the mic back as you. You get, you get the first question. <laughs> well, congratulations, Coach. Uh, just general thoughts on a state championship season. Dream come true. Dream come true is the first thing that comes to my mind. I talk about it all the time. As much as coaches do for kids, these kids have led me on a journey that is amazing, unbelievable. And I'm living a dream from them as a former cadet. Um, never, got, never got this experience. And I told them all the time, I'm living my dream day by day through these young men. And they got us here, they pulled us through, family atmosphere, man. I just, I just can't express how much love, passion, and true dedication it is in that room that we're about to go into. These kids are special. Um, I love them to death. I love them more like my son. Um, and I think the family atmosphere, the passion that we just play for, we'll just play for. Coach, can I actually speak up for all of you all to speak up just a little bit louder? Hey, Ivan, just, uh, I mean, on your biggest stage of your career, just went crazy from the shot, hit five of your first six threes. Just talk about how your offense is feeling out there. Uh, it just felt like my shot was going in, and I just felt good. Every shot felt good. They believed in me. My coaches believed in me. My, the organization believes in me. Uh, nothing else to be said. Just, I just felt I had a good day. So, Coach, did you, uh, at the beginning of the year, did you think you'd be here? Did you, is this something you... I knew it was a goal, you know, coming off of what we came off of last year, the 26 and 1. Um, we all knew we had the goals to get back to that same point that we ended up in last year. We didn't get it done. Um, we were blessed enough to get back to that point. Um, and for us, it was a gradual when the playoffs started. Um, we won our best the first two nights of the playoffs. We got a little bit better against me. We were almost there against Wise, and tonight you saw that it's best. Coach, this is the first time in 42 years that Frederick's won a state championship. What does it mean to you to, to be the one and for this group to be the group to bring that back to Frederick? Oh, it's bigger than me, man. These young men had to go through a lot behind the scenes dealing with Coach Hill, man. It's so much bigger <laughs> than me. This is all about these young men setting to my right, setting to my left in that locker room. Um, I'm from Frederick, born and raised, so I obviously I know the history. I know some of the guys as guys that, that are family members to me, mentors to me that were on that team. Um, it would have been, we uh, obviously we wanted to do it, but this is so much bigger than Coach Hill right now. This is about these young men to my right and left and in that locker room, and I can't wait to get in there to be with them guys. And for uh, Ivan, is it Ivan or Yvonne, by the way? Yvonne. Yvonne, uh, if you, you make sure you're holding that mic as well. Um, but Yvonne, uh, you know, for you, especially throughout this playoff, throughout your career here, you know, making so many shots, having so much success, and just in that same vein, similar question before, um, bringing the first state championship back to Frederick in 42 years. I mean, how special is that, and how proud are you and happy as a group just to do this tonight? 
words can express the, the way I'm, I'm feeling right now. Like all the work and all the time we put in, the 6 a.m.s, the miles we ran, it, is, it just all paid off for tonight. And tonight it showed that these boys, like all these guys, I love them to death. They're gonna be my brothers for the rest of life. I must say, you guys really scheduled a hard schedule this season. I mean, you played at St. John's, you played an undefeated team from West Virginia, I mean, you really went out there and scheduled a, a really difficult schedule. Talk about that and how it helped you prepare for this. Uh, in the off season, we, as a staff, myself, I go back and self-reflect, I self-reflect daily, but in the off season, you really got an opportunity to step back, step away from, you know, what's going on in the day-to-day -day and self-reflecting the entirety of the season. And in my opinion, I didn't think we were challenged enough last week. So when that adversity hit, you know, we weren't totally prepared for it. We got challenged once or twice during the course of last year's season. Um, we just wanted to put these guys in a better situation for this moment. Um, whether we win, whether we won some of those games or lost some of those games, some of the games that I thought didn't know which way they were going to go, we ended up winning some of them. You know, you never know, but I thought no matter what the outcome was of those games, it wasn't just the season, it was the summer, the, the fall, Capitol Hoops, Summer League, really like these guys saw some things just throughout the summer, the fall, and then coming into the season that, you know, the average high school, public school kid just doesn't see. And we just wanted to throw them to the fire. I knew what we had as far as talent. I knew what we had as far as the competitive greatness that these young men, you know, displayed day to day. And I knew we could play with anybody. I just wanted to put them in a position to be challenged a little bit more for this moment. And, and JJ, for you specifically, you know, you, um, you, know, you, you came back to your home school after after year at O'Connell last year for, for moments like this. What did you? Know, what was it like, sort of seeing that? I guess you know, a vision and dream realized in, in this moment. It was like a different atmosphere to me. Like just the switch from Wakanda to here was just like a brotherhood and the organization well, accepted me right away. And I just feel like this was the place to be. And then I know uh, you had, you had, um, got a little banged up at the end of uh, at the end of the game on Wednesday. What were you doing to try to you know prepare and make sure that I no matter what I'd be ready to go tonight? Really, I knew I was going to be ready to go because they was they was texting me, tell, asking me like how I, how I was doing and stuff like that. So I was like, you know, I got to go out there. All right, you were you weren't missing this Friday, though. No. Coach, 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 you're the third team who's won today, who's had a son who's played on the team, which is incredible. Three times today we've had a head coach come in. And your son play on the team. Talk about that. Ah, uh, it's special, man. Like I, it, on a day to day, if you came in our gym, if you couldn't, if you couldn't look at us and tell that we were father and son, you wouldn't know. Because I treat him just like I treat these guys inside the box. You know, but to sit here in this moment and to get ready to go into that locker room and see, I know how hard he works. I know what he does. Um, it's just a blessing, man. It's just a blessing. These guys are like his brothers. Um, couldn't have been with a more special group, but to do it with your son, I mean, that's just something that you'll cherish for the rest of your life. Thank you all. Mm -hmm. Congratulations once again. Thank you. 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 Thank you.